This is the uh, fourth problem on uh, BJT analysis, and uh, this uh, problem is of the 2007 of two marks. Uh, we'll read out the problem here. For the BJT circuit shown, assume that the beta of the transistor is very large, and VB is 0.7 volts. The mode of operation of BJT is there are four options here: cut off situation normal active and reverse active so the corresponding uh, BJT circuit is given here uh, it's uh, being assumed that the beta of the transistor is very large so uh, for a very large beta of a transistor and then uh, the emitter current is nearly equal to collector current and the base current is nearly zero and it is given that uh, VB is 0.7 volts. VB drop is 0.7 volts. So here uh, we'll assume here that the BJT is in the active mode. And when you assume uh, BJT to be in active mode, then uh, we can apply KVL to this uh, input loop. That means 2 minus VB that is 0.7 equals 1 kilo ohms into IE. So you can get IE nearly equals to IC is equal to 1.3 milliamperes. The value of IE or IC is 1.3 milliamperes. Now uh, we can determine the what would be the saturation current here, IC saturation. IC saturation would be the 10 volts DC minus VC on. VC on is taken to be 0.2 volts, 10 minus 0.2 divided by 1k plus 10k. So 9.8 over 11, this gives me about 0.9 milliamperes. So IC situation 0.9 milliamperes, while the what we observe there IC active, that is 1.3 milliamperes. That means IC active is greater than the IC situation. That means the transfer is in saturation. Since the collector current larger than the saturation value of the current, so the transfer is in saturation. So BJT is uh, option B, uh, that is BJT is in saturation, BJT is the substitution, satellite twice. Okay, thank you.